said I don't have to wait But I'll wait down seven days I don't have to wait But I wait down seven days
Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. You are really coming from from space, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and like this is good uh, tonight. This space shuttle followed us. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's there. <laughs> well, thank Why you very much. Why does he follow us? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for for tonight's show. Thank um, you. Uh, so maybe we can do the interview all together, right? Sorry. We can do the interview all together. Uh, Yeah, Your band just left. <laughs> okay, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's as you want. So, they, uh, so guys, if you have questions online, please don't hesitate to ask question to Satori, and yeah. um, I will choose. I will try to to choose uh, some questions and and ask Satori uh, later on. So first, first, my my first question is how um, how was it tonight to play in front of the beautiful ocean? You know, <laughs> it's not that I do this every week, so it's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm the resident of the ocean. By yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, yeah. I don't know. It's really sick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's we were rehearsing. W we did a tour like in February, and last week we were rehearsing for this show. And you know, I said to the guys, we know how to play it, so just let's go and let's use the inspiration of of this place, you know, to to kind of do what we do instead of like rehearsing it to the max into like every single note we kind of we're just like you know we know the red line and let's just go and also let this environment mm. you know decide what we gonna do you know let, let this environment inspires us to yeah do what we do so because you don't have the reaction from the public so it no we don't have but we yeah. have this like we have this beautiful beautiful decor actually you know so mm. um yeah it's it, it's really nice actually because you, you You don't are in your own world anymore. You're also kind of together and enjoying this moment. You know, we're all friends, so it's also for us, um, you know, uh, kind How of a, 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 like of a, an out of the world thing to stand mm. here as friends to play for the fish. <laughs> And, and the uh, people online, we were. And the, yeah, <laughs> of course, the people online. We don't see them. We also yeah. don't see the fish, by the way. But whatever, <laughs> you know, like, it, it's just a, a really magical place to be here. And I wish I could play every week here. <laughs> yeah. And how did you guys met with all the band? So the band from Space, it's because they're all from another place, actually. I was friends, still friends, with each one of them. But they didn't know each other. Oh. So I kind of... It was like I met everyone from a different space um so we we I, i kind of brought them together with each one of them i was already making music and i've kind of brought them together um so yeah they're kind of total spread out and from the whole world actually yeah okay um so there are there, there are a lot of technical questions <laughs> like what yes. vst are you using for the flute And but uh, I will ask this question: Will we hear you sing more in future live sets? So I, I guess uh, we're speaking about you. Yeah. Well, there's one track where I consider myself as a singer. That's "Colorful Dream." It was kind of the fourth track. In that track, I s I really sing, sing. You know, yeah. there's no effects on my voice, and it's kind of uh, exactly how I sing. Um, The other parts where I'm singing, I don't really consider myself as a singer, but more I use my voice to m create extra mm. um, spirit and extra atmosphere. Um, compared to Hugo, that's yeah. a real, real singer. Yeah. And the track Colorful Dream, I like to see myself as a singer as well because I really sing it. But the rest is actually I use more my voice to to give it an extra spirit, but I won't consider myself as a singer. But to answer the question, um, I... Lately, I'm actually more into singing again. So I think I'm going to do it more, yes. Mm, it's nice. uh, <laughs> at the end, it's the most honest instrument we have, you know. It's, mm. it's so, so close. Yeah. Like <laughs> it, clapping and singing is the first instrument you have as a kid, you know. Like the sound you make yeah. out of your mouth and like clapping and hitting on stuff. So it's rhythm and singing that's the most kind of connected with our, with our core, right? Mm. So... I like to actually sing a bit more lately, yeah, and okay. tell more stories. Okay, and uh, also speaking about instruments, I saw some weird instruments. Can you can yeah. you show us uh, like the little? Uh, It's weird stuff. Here. Yeah, <laughs> weird stuff like yeah. the the wood guitar. What? Yeah, what so is this is a gimbri, a Moroccan gimbri. Um, wait, let me let me show it. 
I don't know. It's awesome. So, so this <laughs> is a Moroccan gimbri, and the nice thing of it is, uh, so you tune it, so it's it's melody, yeah. but it's also it's oh also yeah. percussion. So you you well, I it's not that I'm a great player on it, but I play, um, I hit it, so it becomes very percussive actually. Mm. And by just using a single note, you you keep kind of in harmony with the rest. Uh, but it's not like on the keys where you play really kind of chord progression. It's actually more for me, I use it actually more as a percussive tool. And it's also nice to jam with the boys, you mm. know, like um, to create uh, some extra rhythm because most of the rhythm comes out of the drum computers. Uh, but it's nice to have like a real acoustic extra rhythm thing. I also have the shaker, but I, I don't know why I didn't use it actually. <laughs> um, whatever, it's somewhere here. Um, too much instrument. Yeah, too <laughs> much. But it's nice to have this like little yeah. real organic where did you find things. it i bought it actually uh, i found it i find it online uh, a gimbri maker and i reached out to him and it's custom made for me because i told him the way i want it uh, because we travel a lot so the original gimbri is actually this high oh yeah and you cannot bring it in a plane so he actually made it smaller so i can fly with the gimbri that's awesome um, yeah so it's easy cool. and even like if you put close in it it becomes also protection so it's a good combination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were speaking just before the show, we were speaking about destination like Miami, New York, Mexico. What's your favorite city where, where you played and why? Oh, wow. Um, can I name three? Sure. Yes, thanks. Um, so, Paris. Oh, Paris. Um, I'm playing next week in Paris uh, at the Souk Festival. Yes. So, on it's 22 or 21? On Sunday, that's on 20, Sunday. What, 21 or 22. 22. And I have a very special relationship with Paris and with my friends and fans in Paris. So it's my favorite city to play. The crowd is really open, musical, intelligent. They don't, they only, it's not that they only want kicks, you know, they're really willing to go deeper with you if you want. So it's, uh, and they're all beautiful, you know. Mm. It's, <laughs> Yeah, I'm in love with Paris and okay. with the guys from La Horte and Souk. So it's 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 here for me, Paris, um, uh, Mexico actually, all Mexico, like Mexico City, but Oaxaca. Uh, it's uh, on the Day of the Dead. It's my favorite place to play because everybody's painted as a skeleton. So I'm playing in playing for 400 skeletons. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's magical on the Gem and Bolt party. It's the mezcal brand. Um, and um, New York is is for me also a really special spot to play. Um, w why? Well, similar actually as the Parisian, you know, mm. they are kind of intelligent, beautiful people. The vibe. The vibe is, you know, it's their party, but it it doesn't become like a dirty rave, you know. Mm. But it's also not a boring, stiff, beautiful people that doesn't dance. Mm. They're they're really into party, but it doesn't become kind of ugly so I, I like it when it's when it's a real party but not like a dirty dark rave um, is it difficult for you when you play in a festival like when like people really want to dance hard and and you play in a festival yeah well it doesn't happen to me actually a lot because i don't know maybe with the live thing, you can kind of improvise. So if you have the feeling that the crowd wants a bit more energy, you can give it. But yeah. I think the biggest misunderstanding is that people think more energy means the BPM needs to go up. Mm. And that's not true. That's, I think, a very big misunderstanding. Um, BPM has nothing to do with energy. Um, it's about dynamic. Yeah. And all these things give me the possibility to make it dynamic. I can play on 100 BPM for 5,000 people and make it super dynamic. So it's not about the BPM. And a lot of people, they think, oh, slow BPM, um, whatever, in the afternoon. Mm. But it's changing now a lot, actually. And also since my career becomes um, better and better, I, 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 I'm also closing like main stages now. So yeah. uh, it doesn't happen to me a lot, actually, because I, with all this stuff, I can make it work. I can make it work, but not go up or not like fist pumping peak time that's yeah. that that's not for me and i'm lucky that i don't need to do it mm. okay interesting yeah um uh my last question um what are your next projects do you have next project with your band or maybe another one i don't know yeah well we're gonna develop this it's actually our um we had one tour so it's still super fresh and mm. um 
we have about like five million idea what we what mm. we can do with this you know so it's uh, i think if we would if we do next year uh, um uh, this place again you will hear like you know something new so um this is fresh and we're all super inspired and motivated to go to the next level and next level and next level so you're gonna definitely hear more of this and i hope better and 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 better mm -hmm. um and then i'm working on a on a new album now okay so that's coming um then my my solo life act is also going really well I yeah so a lot of stuff actually i need to um kind of uh be be careful that i'm not uh, too much yeah. <laughs> not too much so it's better to have a focus and do two things really good instead of 10 things you know yeah right mas o menos so um yeah well we look forward to it Thank, thanks very much and congratulations for tonight because it was a uh, something special i guess yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no and thank you for uh really for having us here and uh well giving us this uh kind of uh stage yeah i guess <laughs> you honor the this stage <laughs> yeah it is no really thank thanks for uh, bringing us here it's uh it's a dream to stand here so thank you and and uh, sorry guys you have a lot of questions but i, I cannot ask uh, all questions uh um, just one <laughs> just one yeah okay okay just one i have What is the so qu question from Tony? What is the country? We got surprises. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, a lot of surprises are arriving. <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> so last question from yeah. Tony: What is the country or travel which inspired you the most for your music? That's Tony. Yes. Good question, Tony. Um, actually, I'm I'm a uh, I'm. Really inspired by paintings, actually. That's my sorry not to answer this question, but <laughs> I'm not really getting a lot of inspiration. Of course, by traveling, you you meet people, you talk to people, you get ideas. But I get the most inspiration actually out of paintings. So oh yeah. it's it's going to museums that inspire me the most and um, try to understand what like the state of mind of a painter was when he when he made it. And I'm trying to get an idea about it and 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 translate it in a musical way, actually. So for my new album, I made um, I made three tracks for a painting oh so it's i call it the soundtrack for that painting so um it's actually not really countries it's 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 beautiful to travel and to speak with people and of course there's ideas but it's actually um Marvel. for me the the biggest inspiration is painting so so tony you have your answer sorry tony <laughs> <laughs> sorry tony okay so we have a little tradition at circle it's the mystery box the mystery box is just uh, behind you and wow. it's a little <laughs> gift from uh, fort louvois the amazing place where we are tonight okay. uh, so you have a lot of uh, um special uh, like uh, traditional uh, pastries and everything from here so amazing man <laughs> super nice thank you thank you man. thanks a lot brother thanks. Cool. And uh, thank you to all of you online. You were a lot, and and I think you enjoyed it. <laughs> I saw your comments. Um, and um, thank you to our partners. They will come up uh, on the screen. Thank you to the amazing Fort Louvois uh, tonight and to 16. Thank you uh, for your warm welcome. And see you next Monday. Bye bye. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Dat toch nog live zijn. Toch even die Hans Zimmer kant op. Toch even die Hans Zimmer kant op.